and welcome back to another video here with angel b designs i'm angel b thank you so much for coming to my channel if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back um in today's video i am going to be talking about bling okay so i do a lot of bling on my um social media like my instagram and my tiktok i do feature a lot of bling and i always get questions about where do I get it from? How do I do it? Um, things like that. If I want to sell it, how do I price it? So many questions surrounding bling and t-shirts and sweatshirts and things like that. So in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how to sell, how to do bling as a beginner and how to sell it, right? So if you're going to put it on a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or a hoodie or something, how do you price it out to sell it so that you're getting every dollar that you deserve? Okay, so we're going to be talking about all of that. I'm going to be talking about the stones. I'm going to be talking about where I get my designs from. I'm going to be talking about where I get my materials from. I'm going to be talking about what cutters you can use to make these designs. I'm going to be talking about how to price out your shirts when you do make a design for somebody. How do you price it out to sell it to make sure you get all of your money um, and all of those things. So go ahead and stick around for that. So the first thing we are going to talk about today is going to be the star of the show, which is the bling. Okay, so you guys, I have so much bling. I can't even show you all of the bling I have. But these are some of my absolute favorites um my favorite colors like one of them is light siam a b this is one of my favorite absolute favorite colors light siam a b um violet ice and i buy all of my stones in ss10 and i'll explain to you guys what that means but okay so for the rhinestones um let me move my camera down a little bit so you guys can see them okay so when it comes to rhinestones okay there's many different options um of course there's many different places you can get them from however if you're looking to get into blinging for like to sell um then i would definitely suggest buying them in bulk um because it's just it's more cost efficient to do it that way. So these are some of my favorite colors. They're not, not the colors I'll be using for today's design. I will do a design with you guys. But these are some of my favorite colors. I probably have like at least 10 to 12 more colors over there. Um, but these are um, from the baby's booty. Okay, she is a fellow YouTuber here. Um, I will make sure I link her channel down below as well as her website. Okay, so I get these from her name is Eve and her channel is called the baby's booty. Now every month she does a buy in where basically if you don't know what a buy in is, um, a buy in is where everybody puts their money together and gives it to one person and that person makes the purchase from China so that you know, we can all get it at a wholesale price. A lot of the times when you're purchasing something from overseas, there is a minimum quantity that you have to order. So to be able to get that bulk, that uh, bulk price, that wholesale price, um, everybody, you basically go onto Eve's website, you choose the colors that you want and you place your order. You pay for them. Then once the buy-in is complete, it's typically about seven days that the buy-in lasts. Once the buy-in has closed, Eve goes in and she orders all of the rhinestones that everybody has placed their order for in bulk. Once she receives the rhinestones, she, um, cause they don't come like this. Eve does this. Okay. So they come, I believe they may come in bags or something like that. So then once Eve gets, gets them, she breaks them down into, um, these, uh, what, 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 what is this called? An ice box An ice box it might be an ice box i can't remember exactly what this container is called um but she measures them out and she puts them in these cute little ice containers ice boxes i, I swear i can't remember i'm sorry eve i cannot remember what the heck these things are called they're ice something um but they get put into these and then she brands them and then down here is the heating instructions as well come right onto the sticker once you order them. 
okay and these big ones that i have here are 250 gross and these are the ss 10s now she does also have ss 6 available and price ranges between i want to say 50 to 100 dollars depending on what color you get okay so this right here is light cyan ab whereas this is regular light cyan okay so most of the colors you get a regular color right this is what you would call red it but it's called cyan but it's basically a red stone each regular colored stone typically comes with a matching ab color and my ring light let me turn that down a little bit so you guys can see um, most of the colors come with a matching ab color so this is cyan light cyan which just looks red and then this is the light cyan ab okay so these would be the 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 matching colors in regular and then the ab okay typically the ab colors cost more so i can't exactly remember how much this one i paid for this one but i know i paid 55 dollars for this one and i do believe this one was more okay um, so, and they all, they also range in price based off of popularity, um, things like that. So there's a lot that goes into how much each color costs. But again, um, I'll make sure I leave her website down below. Um, the buy-in, I think there is a buy-in coming today is the 21st, which is Tuesday, February 21st. And I do believe that she is starting a buy-in this Sunday. Um, so if you're seeing this later, just check out her website, um, and, she has a newsletter that lets you know when her buy-ins are going to be. They are once a month, typically towards the end of the month, okay? Um, but yeah, these are some of my favorite colors here. Um, and again, I always buy them in the big containers. They're 250 gross. And um, I get the SS10s. If you like SS6s, she does have these same colors available in the SS6s as well. OK, so these are where I get my stones from. I probably have like 20, maybe a little bit more than 20 different colors. Um, now, she does have it to where you can buy it like this as well, to where you can. Let me turn this down a little bit to where you can purchase different colors. Right. So you get one big ice box. But then you get little ice chips. I believe they're called I'm sorry Eve if I'm not saying the names right I'm sorry but you can pick out smaller little ice chips it doesn't even say if it's a chip or whatever on here but um and then you can pick out multiple colors right so you can get it like this as well if you don't want to do one big box with one big color you can purchase a box but it has smaller colors in it okay and I'm not sure the price of that, but again, definitely check out her website. Um, the prices should be there. <sighs> okay, so these are the rhinestones. These are these ones are some of my favorite colors. Okay, so that's where I get rhinestones from. Now let's talk about designs. So a lot of people ask me. This is gonna be one continuous shot. I'm just gonna move my camera around. Um, a lot of people ask me where do I get my designs from um, I don't make designs I'm not there yet I'm trying to learn how to make them but I just haven't had time to sit down to learn but some of my favorite designs some of the designs that you guys have commented on like on my Instagram page a lot of them have come from craftable things she does have an Etsy shop um, and I will try to remember to link hers down below but she also does tutorials as well on how to make designs um i know her and eve do classes y'all all of this will be linked down below so definitely check it out but most of my designs are available on etsy um i will link patrice's etsy down below because some of the your guys's favorites designs that you see me do have come from craftable things okay so etsy is where i get designs now when you shop for designs some things to pay attention to um, you want to pay attention to the type of stones that that 
that that design takes so if you have all ss6 stones you have to pay attention and make sure that you are buying a design that is for ss6 stones and it definitely matters because the ss6s are smaller the holes for the stones are smaller than the ss10 so if you have ss6 stones and you buy the ss10 design when you go to brush in your stones that the holes for that design they're going to be too big for the ss6 and it's not i mean it won't be impossible for you to brush them in but it will be very challenging now it's going to be nearly impossible for you to brush in if you have all ss10 stones and you buy an ss6 designs your stones are going to be too big for the holes and it's going to be basically almost impossible to brush them in um, you can might be able to brush in ss6 into ss10 stones just because They'll still fit in the hole. They'll just be a little bit big. Um, but you might find yourself hand placing a lot of them. But in the vice versa, if you have SS10 stones and you buy an SS6 design, it's just not going to work. It's just not going to work. So definitely when you are purchasing designs, make sure that you are paying attention to the size um, of the design, the stones for the design that you need. That's number one. Number two, you want also want to make sure that you pay attention to about how many stones that design takes. If you're not buying them in bulk like this and you're buying them in the smaller ones, then you want to make sure that the design that you're purchasing, you have enough stones to make that design. Okay. Most sellers will tell you approximately how many stones that design needs to, you know, to complete. So you want to make sure you have enough stones before you purchase the design as well. Okay, but yeah, I get most of my designs I do get, actually pretty much all of the designs I get are from Etsy. Okay, and then the ones, the designs that you guys love that have been on my Instagram and my TikTok, those designs have come from Patrice. Most of them have come from Patrice. There might be a couple other ones that came from other sellers, but most of them came from craftable things. And like I said, I'll make sure I leave her Etsy shop down below for you guys. Okay. Now, if you want to make your own, um, I do think that she has some tutorials on her channel about making a design or they might have been some of her lives i'm not for sure but just check out her youtube channel but her and eve do do classes as well i believe once a month um if you want to learn how to make your own um that would be available on eve's website so the website i leave for the rhinestones is going to be the same website website for the classes if you want to learn how to make your own designs okay that is designs. So now we have covered rhinestones. We've covered designs. Now materials. Now that you've ordered your rhinestones, you've picked out your design, what do you need to complete this t-shirt that you're doing? Let's just say you're doing a t-shirt. What do you? What else do you need to complete the t-shirt aside from the design and aside from the rhinestones? You are going to need flock, rhinestone flock. Um, I get mine from Heat Transfer Warehouse. Um, they, the last time this, this specific role I got from, uh, the website is called be create or be createful. I'll link it as well as heat transfer warehouse because heat transfer warehouse has been out of flock lately. I think they have some right now, but they were out for a little bit. Um, but you need rhinestone flock. The one that I use is pink. If you go to some of the other places, they may be a different color. I know there's some out there that is blue. The, but the one that I use is pink, and I get it from Heat Transfer Warehouse, and this is some of my favorite, favorite flock. Like I said, I will leave it down below, but this is what you're going to use to cut out your design and brush in your stones. Okay, so you do need um, rhinestone flock. Now, a five-yard roll on Heat Transfer Warehouse, which I think is, what, 75? feet no 25 feet it might be 25 feet i'm not sure um it's 65 dollars now they do have a firm is it a firm or Klarna? one of those buy now pay later um options they do have that on their website as well um so you are going to need flock but they do have multiple sizes so for i normally do either five yards or more um i try to do more if they have it available uh, but I do at least five yards whenever I order because this stuff goes quick. If you're if you're blinging a lot, this stuff goes quick. Um, but yeah, the five yard roll is sixty five dollars. Okay. The next thing you're going to need is a KTM mask. Basically, 
once you brush your stones into your flock and you have to pick them up to transfer it onto your shirt, it's basically transfer tape for rhinestones and it's called KTM mask. Okay, so like if you're using, let's say you're using premium vinyl, you know how you take your Cricut transfer tape and you put it onto the vinyl and you burnish it and then you pick it up and you transfer it onto your blank. That's what you do with rhinestones as well. You're going to brush your rhinestones in and then you're going to take your mask, aka transfer tape, and you're going to put it on top of the stones. You brush them gently with your hands and then you're going to pick your tape up and you're going to place it onto your shirt. Okay, so you need your KTM mask um, as well. The 12 inch, which is 20, a 25 yard roll. So I always do at least 12 inches. I, I don't really go bigger than the 12 inches, meaning this way, right? This is 12 inches. I think they have smaller and I think they go bigger, but I always do the 12 inches because that's the same size as the flock. So I don't want to go too much bigger than the flock. Um, so I always do 12 inches because that's the same size as the flock. Um, but I buy the 12 inch 25 yard roll. Well, actually this one might be bigger. Um, I don't know what size this is, but the 25 yard roll is $53 for this. Okay. Um, this you can use when you cut off a piece, you can use it a, a good amount of times. Um, before you have to throw it away. I, I would say at least five or six times you'll be able to use this one piece. So this tends to not go as quickly as the flock. So if you just really invest in one big old roll, this might last you a, a good amount of time because if I, like if I cut off just this piece, I can use this piece like five or six times before I have to throw it away, okay, at least. Um, so definitely invest um, in the KTM mask. I would say, I would say invest like if you I, I would say buy a bigger roll of this than you do this because no matter what you're going to be repurchasing this unless you can just really invest and get the biggest of both that would be great but this is probably still going to last you longer because like I said you can use this multiple times okay so you need a mask I have tried the Frisco tape uh this right here I've tried this with rhinestones because I was out of this and I didn't have anything else. So I did try because this is heat resistant. Cricut transfer tape is not heat resistant. Please do not do the heat, the Cricut, tra the Cricut transfer tape that you use for the premium vinyl. Do not use that for your rhinestones. Please do not use that for your rhinestones. Okay, because it, it's not going to work. Um, I have used the Frisco um, craft transfer tape. This one is heat resistant. I use it for like my printable vinyl. Um, I have used this with my rhinestones and it's okay. Like the issue with this is that the rhinestones tend to not stick all the way. So sometimes like you have to fix them or you have to replace them or whatever the case may be. Um, it's okay. It, like as a last resort, like if I'm out of the KTM mask, this will do the job. It just gives me more of a headache. So I would definitely say if you have the funds definitely go with the KTM mask. It's just going to save you time and it's going to save you a headache. Okay, so I would definitely say this. <coughs> okay, the next thing you're going to need or the next two things you are going to need is these two things. So a brush and a wax pen. Um, this is a trim brush. You can get these at Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace Hardware, or you can get them from Amazon. I will link it down below. Um, so this brush is $7 on Amazon and you get the brush and then you get two of these little brush heads. Okay, you get two of them. It's $7. I'll link it down below. And then this is the wax pen that I use. Like really, it's nothing. There are people who have like really pretty wax pens. Um, but I just use, I don't, I bought this on Amazon like a long time ago. I don't even remember, but it, it gets the job done. Okay. They do have these for $8. You get 10 of these sticks you get 10 of these for eight dollars i will link it down below for you guys um but yes these two things and that's pretty much it as far as your materials your rhinestones your flock your ktm mask your t-shirt or your hoodie whatever you're, you're using your brush and your pen and you're good to go okay well and a cutter you need a cutter something to cut it out as well okay so that is all of the materials okay let's move on to cutters really quickly um pretty much any cutter will cut this 
okay we'll cut the flock you're, you're cutting the flock so cricket all the machines explore air to the cricket joy obviously your cricket joy you're going to be limited because of its size but it will cut the flock so if you're doing smaller designs like let's say on this design <clears throat> Let's say you just wanted to cut out this head right here and not the whole thing, but just this head. Cricut Joy will cut it, okay? Um, again, just remember you're limited to the size because of that. So the design I'll be doing today, you wouldn't be able to cut out the whole design together on the Cricut Joy. But if you went into the software and you broke it up, you I guess you could use the Cricut Joy. It would take you a little bit longer, but it's, it's not impossible. Okay. Um, but any of the Cricut machines will cut the flock. Any of the Silhouette machines will cut the flock. Um, the Caesar, Romeo, or Juliet will cut it. Graph Tech, it really doesn't matter. Pretty much any of the cutting machines, if it cuts vinyl, it will cut the flock. You just have to figure out your settings. I know for Cricut, I've never had any success in the Cric in my Cricut machine, whether I had, I've had the Explorer Air 2, I had the Cricut Maker, and I've had the Cricut Maker 3. None of them ever cut out my flock holes all the way or my flock dots all the way. Um, but with my uh, Caesar Romeo, I've had no issues. It cuts it out beautifully, okay? Um, but any cutting machine, like I said, if it's a vinyl cutter, it will cut the flock. So it doesn't matter. Whatever you have should work. You just have to play with your settings. All right. Lastly, let's talk about how do you price this, right? Now you've made your shirt and you want to figure out how to price it. So I sat here and I figured out how much these stones cost. And when I say these stones, I mean literally one stone, right? If I wanted to buy one, you can't even see it. If I wanted to buy one, and I just dropped it, one single stone. Come on, stone. If I wanted to buy one tiny little baby single, single stone, how much does this one single little stone cost? Right? I sat here and I did the math on it because it's important. I feel like you, you need to know how much each stone costs. It's like less than a penny. It's like point, what is it? Point zero zero one five and then some other number. So it's less than a penny. So one little tiny stone, one stone, one single stone is less than a penny. Okay. But I needed to know that to be able to figure out how much I should charge. I, there might be an easier way, but I'm, I'm being extra because I wanted to break it all the way down. <sighs> Once again, my camera died. <laughs> if you're new on this channel, my camera always dies. Um, but yeah, I needed to know so I could break it all the way down so that we could figure out how much to charge for these uh, shirts, right? So <clears throat> it was like, I'm, for easy math, I'm going to use 0 0.001, okay? And then we're also going to use this love design that I'm going to do with you guys today, which I did get from Craftable Things. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to use this love design for reference. And then I'm also going to use, like I said, the 0 0.001 for how much one of those little stones cost. Okay. So the math is, let me get out my calculator. So for this design is approximately 3,000 stones. Okay. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to be using four different colors for this design. The four different, three of the four colors I'm using is going to be a regular color. So I'm using regular black diamond. I'm using regular light cyan and I'm using regular peridot. But then my yellow color is going to be a citrine AB. So I only have one AB color. So again, for easy math, I'm going to go with the $50, the $55. So the black diamond, the Siam, the life Siam, and the Peridot cost me $55 for each one of the containers. Okay. The Citrine AB, I believe was $65, but we're only going to use one AB color. So I'm going to go with the $55 price because the price difference between these two is probably, if you break it all the way down to per stone, it's probably like pennies, right? It will probably be like pennies. So it's, it's not worth it to do all of that work. So, um, this design is going to be three regular colors, one AB color. Okay, so we're going to go with 
the three th it's going to take 3000 stones so if you multiply 3000 stones by 0 0.001 which is how much each one singular stone costs you get $3 Okay, so the amount of, so I'm using $3 worth of stones for this t-shirt. Okay, $3 worth of stones for this t-shirt. So now I'm going to use, let's say for, I'm going to use a sweatshirt, but I don't remember how much the sweatshirt costs. So let's, for easy math, let's say you're using a Bella Canvas shirt that you got from Jiffy. Those shirts are about $5. Okay, so now you're at $3 per stone. For your shirts now we're going to go plus five dollars so we're at eight dollars okay that's for my t-shirt and that is for my stones now this is all stuff that i wrote down because if i want to sell this you know you want to write you make sure you write down your prices so if somebody write down your price for each color too right because the, they all cost a different amount of money i want to say that the light siam ab costs more than 65 dollars, i believe so or i'm not for sure don't quote me on that but some of these colors the real pretty ones like the crush ice ab it looks like glass some of those costs okay so you want to make sure you know how much they cost and if somebody picks that color to use on the t-shirt you want to know how much to charge for that color Right. So make so when you get them, break them down, break them all the way down so that you can know down to the exact penny how much you should charge. OK, so anyways, between the stones and the shirts, we're at eight dollars. Now, for a design like this, how much do I charge for flock for a design like this? One that I'm going to continuously use and I can use this on multiple shirts and sell it to multiple people. I go with one dollar. I charge one dollar for flock. Now, if it's a design that's custom, if somebody sends me like their logo or their name or their school, right? That's a template I may not be able to use as many times because it's so custom. I'm going to figure out how much I should. It's going to be more than a dollar. However much flock I have to use for that, I'm going to break it down. and I'm going to figure it out and I'm, I'm going to charge you for it. But for this kind of design, like I said, I can use this on multiple t-shirts and sell it to multiple people everybody gets charged one dollar per flock that's just how i do it you can figure out how you want to do it okay so i'm going to add in one dollar for a flock we're at nine dollars now i do the exact same thing with the ktm mask i charge everybody one dollar for ktm mask it's just you know how when you go to buy a ticket and have a processing fee there's a flock and ktm mask fee it's two dollars one dollar for the flock one dollar for the ktm mask it's a processing fee. It is what it is that you just, you got to pay for it. Okay. Okay. $10. So now we are at $10. It cost me $10 to make this design on a Bella Canvas t-shirt. Okay. That's how much it costs me to make it. Now you need to figure out how much do you want to profit? Okay. Obviously we're going to charge more than $10 because we have to profit for me. I want my profit to be $20, it, especially, if, especially if it takes me an hour to make this shirt. How much do you want to make an hour? Because I want to make $20 an hour. That's just me. If you want to make $10 an hour, then upcharge at $10 and the, the shirt costs $20. But for me, because I can go clock into a job and make $15 an hour if I want to. I don't want to. So I think that I should make because my work is good. I should make $20 profit off of this shirt. So this shirt is going to cost me $30. Or it's going to, I'm sorry, not me. It's going to cost you $30. This is a $30 t-shirt. That's how I figured out my price. And um, you can put it, there is a crafting calculator as well. I do have it on my phone. Okay. So this is. This is what it kind of looks like. You may not be able to see it on my phone, but it is called a craft pricing calculator. And it's like purple if you go through the app store on iPhone. And then in there, it has your cost of materials, the number of items made, the time it takes you to make it, your hourly wage, wage 
and then your retail profit markup percent and you put once you input all of that info it'll tell you how much that item is going to cost that customer okay so you can do it this way as well you can do it this way however you want to do it um but i just wanted to break that down so you can figure out how to price your shirt now if you're doing a shirt that takes you know six thousand stones then it's going to cost more if you're if, if you're doing a shirt that has all a b colors it's going to cost more if you have a shirt that's eight thousand stones in all a b colors did you gonna be paying a nice amount for that t-shirt it, it just it is what it is so but that's how i would come up i don't sell t-shirts or anything like that i don't sell my crafts but if i were going to that's how i would do it okay hopefully that makes sense if there's an easier way that you know how to do it great just make sure that you know i just want to make sure that you're getting the amount of money that you should get for you know your craft you should be charging a good amount of money for your craft um I know like crafting is therapeutic for a lot of people, but if you're going to sell it, you should be able to profit off of it. Um, a lot of people feel like, you know, you should only profit $5. If you worked for a whole hour to make that shirt and you only made $5 off of it, I'm sorry, that's not worth it. That's, that's slave labor. So we have to get into a mentality because if you go clock in at a job, like if you have a full time job that pays you seventeen dollars an hour, why would you make this spend an hour making a shirt for somebody only to make five dollars? That doesn't make any sense. Where in America are you going to go and make five dollars an hour? Other than waitressing and hopefully you get tips and make more. But that's not reasonable. That's not reasonable. OK, guys, don't don't play yourselves. OK. Don't let people tell you that if it costs you $10 to make, you should only be charging $15. $5 for an entire hour of work, that is unreasonable. No, no job in the world pays that. So price it, set it, price it out, set it. Your price is your price. And don't negotiate, okay? I just want everybody to get their get their coins that they deserve, okay? All right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make the shirt with you guys now. We're going to make this design. Um, I'm going to speed up that process just because I do have other videos where it's broken down. So I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to do a talk through. If you need a like breakdown, slow down tutorial of how to brush in stones, how to cut um, the flock and all of that, um, definitely check out my channel. I do have a couple other videos where I do break that process down and slow it down to completely explain it. Like I said, I will do a voiceover where I'm kind of like quickly explaining it. But if you need a slow down version, check out my channel. I have a couple of videos there as well. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get these brushed in and we're going to look at the final result. Okay, guys, so this template, this, um, the L the girl that's supposed to be the o the v the e it's supposed to be cut out as one template but my l and my v got messed up during my cut so it ended up getting separated but it's fine because I, I was able to still put it together um but if you do purchase this template it is all one piece not two separate pieces like i have it but all i do is i put my stones you know pour my stones out onto my design and then i brush in a circular motion and i'm kind of like pushing them down as I go so that they're kind of out of the you know out of the way but they're also going down into the holes that still need to be brushed if that makes sense so I'm going in a circular circular motion as well as going down at the same time now of course I don't get them all so sometimes I do have to go back with my wax pen but this is the gist of how I brush them in. Again, if you need a slow down tutorial, definitely check out my channel for that. All right guys, so I am finished with the sweatshirt here. I did do a Gildan Heavy Blend sweatshirt and this is Black Diamond. And then the Black Diamond is also outlining the letters. And I did Regular Peridot, Light Siam, and Citrine AB. And this is what we have. It came out so, so cute, but I will link. Again, this um, um, this design is from Craftable Things. I will link it down below. 
Um, we went over all of the materials and everything. So hopefully I answered all of your bling questions that you guys have been having. Um, if I missed something, put them in the comment section down below. But this is all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time. Bye, guys.